Hey guys, I'm AJ from Deeper and today we're going deadbait fishing for pike. So it's late autumn now, it's a very good time to actually try out this method because pike are not so active at chasing lures, but they might just go for a stationary fish that looks good, smells good. So that's what we're trying to exploit. And at the same time, we're going to try out the Deeper Trophy Bundle, our newest product, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go rig up. Alright, so just like in all fishing, there's no one perfect spot for dead baiting. So we'll just have to find out, you know, see what's what's going on on the bottom. But the general logic is pretty much simple. Your bait has to be easy to find for the pike. It shouldn't be buried in a silt or in the middle of a thick weed bed because it'll just take much more time for the pike to find it. And uh, since it's my first time in this bag, uh, I'll just grab the Chirpless 2 sonar and just cast around and see what's under there. And after that, we'll know where to place our baits. Well, and before scanning, we're going to grab the phone holder for any fishing rod. It's going to be much more convenient for us to watch the data on the screen while retrieving back the sonar and scanning. And also, we're going to have much better connection between the phone and the sonar. So it looks like we have a quite a soft covered bottom, about 10 centimeters thickness or so, but generally underneath that looks pretty hard. The reflection is coming out strong. There we go. We got something under the sonar in midwater. Oh, there's a little school. A fish. That's a good place to save the point in. We see a couple of fish on the bottom and a couple suspending here. So it seems the lake bed is quite flat in here. Up about here we have a little bit deeper and with the lighter patches are actually a little bit more shallow. So we had a scan around in our peg and what we got now is a bathymetric map. This side is generally shallower, the darker spots are a little bit deeper. So I marked two places, right about here I saw a school of small fish, so hopefully a pike may be out and about for a meal. And here I saw a couple of big arches, it's a little bit shallower, so I'll be sending my rig down there. Right, so right now I'll show you one of my favorite rigs for dead baiting. It's a little bit more complicated than the standard rigs, uh, but when you're fishing catch and release, it helps avoid deep hookups and complications when releasing the fish. So essentially it is a very primitive and big, almost a hair rig with a circle hook and a free running lead on it. So it's got a wire trace and in order to put the fish on, you'll need a couple of more tools. You'll need a baiting needle, and a boilie drill or something like that. All right, so that's the whole rig with the bait on. 
So we take the hair and drive it through the skull of the fish. And since we had a little bit of a softer bottom, as we saw with the sonar, uh, I don't want the fish to, to actually get buried in it. So what I did, I added another part to the rig, which is made just from two pop-up foam balls, and it should pop the rig up just like that. So as you've seen, the rig is quite heavy. It's, it has a three ounce lead and a fish as well. So in order to cast it, I'm using a simple carp rod, 10 foot, uh, three pound test curve, uh, a deep pitted reel and a strong braid line. All right, so that's it about the rigs and the gear. Let's go set up the rods. So let's talk about bite indication. So just like in carp fishing, we're using uh, bite alarms and swing arms. But instead of uh, putting the swing arms right under the bite alarms, we're putting them actually underneath the reels from the other side. And we're doing that uh, in order for the pike not to feel the tension when it's taking the bait. Because usually if it's taking the bait and feels tension, it'll spit the bait. So in order to avoid that, what we're doing is basically giving it a free run. And the only resistance that the pike will actually feel is just a line coming out of the swing arm. And for the rest of the run, it just comes out freely. So when I'm fishing dead baits, I'm not uh, leaving them stationary. Uh, but instead, every 10 or 15 minutes, I'm taking each rod and reeling it back about a meter or so. And I do it uh, all the way until I reach the bank. Once I do that, I'll pick out a new spot, cast out and repeat the same thing. This way I'm scanning my whole swim to see if there's any active pike in there. That's a big girl. Ninety-seven. <laughs> there we go. Decent fish. All right, guys, so the big lady didn't want to stay here too long. She just plopped right into the water. And I think that's a good note to end our session. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll try out the technique yourself. And tight lines, catch you later.